So season six has completely changed the meta, guys, bringing with it tons of new weapons and features, ranging from the new crafting system to animals, and of course, the return of the OG pump shotgun. What's going on, guys? It's your motivation guy. And in this video, we're gonna be going over everything we think are the new best loadouts in the new season six meta, and how to acquire everything that you need to succeed in every game. So hit that sub button, and you already know what time it is. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so at the moment, the best way to stay on top of the lobby with the best weapons in the game is through crafting, all right? Allowing you to really upgrade and improve your weapons. So most notable of all the crafting elements in the new season is the ability to actually craft pump shotguns from the makeshift shotguns that are most commonly found across the map. However, all right, don't get too excited straight away, all right? Calm down, <laughs> because the OG pump we know and love isn't quite the same as it used to be, yeah. So there have been some major changes to the weapon's damage to really try and make it more balanced for both casual and competitive play. So the days of just slapping somebody with a shot to the noggin and just scoring 200 plus damage in seconds for an instant a limb, yo, that's not happening. Like unless you have the rarest legendary version of the weapon, which hits for a maximum of 203 headshot damage. These days, the maximum amount of damage that the purple pump shotgun can land has been taken down to 189 for a perfect headshot, which to be honest, is still a solid amount of damage. All it means is that, you know, you're not going to be sending anyone with max health and shield back to the lobby in a single shot. So despite all of that, the pump is still probably the strongest shotgun in the game. So to upgrade any weapon, you're first going to need a makeshift weapon of any type. You're also going to need metal mechanical parts, which can be collected by breaking vehicles around the map, like trucks, cars, and even RVs. These will usually give you anywhere from one to three mechanical parts per vehicle, and to upgrade your weapon, you're only gonna need four. So to guarantee yourself an early pump or any other kind of mechanical weapon, you're gonna need to drop somewhere like Risky Wheels or the Houses in Weeping Woods. And these will all have guaranteed vehicle or RV spawns that you can farm incredibly quickly for mechanical parts. All right, once you have the makeshift shotgun and four mechanical parts, Simply just open your inventory menu and tab over to the crafting tab, then click on your shotgun. If you have the blue makeshift shotgun, then you'll be able to see the option of two separate weapon upgrades. Click on the one that looks like the pump, click craft, and then a couple of seconds later, the pump will have magically appeared in your inventory. So the pump should always be a priority when building your loadout in every game, because while it may have been nerfed a little bit ago, like it's still going to give you an advantage over pretty much any player who isn't using one. Let me ask you this, are you having trouble adapting to the savage landscape of Fortnite's primal season? Head on over to ProGuides.com where our pro coaches can really train you to unleash your inner beast to become the best of the best. Who wants that? I know I do, here we go. All right, so the Primal Shotgun is a completely new shotgun that has been added in Chapter 2 Season 6. And this new weapon fires off shots in rapid two-round burst, and is meant to be used in extremely close-range scenarios. And it deals high amounts of damage in quick bursts. And if you have a makeshift shotgun, you can just easily upgrade it to become a powerful Primal Shotgun using the crafting feature just like the pump. So this weapon is going to be like an acquired taste. Like, you're probably not gonna like it right away. But in the right hands, it can become something truly dangerous. And despite it not being as accurate when hip firing and also having a lower damage per shot, the Primal Shotgun will be a weapon to be reckoned with when it has been fully learned and fully mastered. And uh, you know, later in this season, we'll probably see it become a real viable alternative to the Pump Shotgun, I'm telling you. And you know, it definitely has a massively fast fire rate, meaning it can just really overwhelm an enemy player's builds and pressure opponents like nothing else. Think of it as a high powered, slow fire rate, close range SMG. You know, it's perfect for burning through both your opponent's builds and their health. And if you come up against a pump player and they have missed their headshot, there's a pretty big chance that you're gonna be able to beat them with a Primal Shotgun. All right, so to get the Primal Shotgun, you can either find it straight from loot or craft it using a makeshift shotgun and four bones, which can be found by killing certain animals like wolves, boars, and chickens, or harvesting one of the large animal skeletons with your pickaxe. Alternately, you can take the risk of just dropping into Bony Burbs, where Tarana will be selling animal bones for 10 gold per material. Since you start an arena game with 50 gold by default, this could be a great way to get the pump on your opponents. 
All right, so on the subject of Primal Weapons, the Primal AR is another that you're going to want to try and use in Season 6 of Fortnite Battle Royale. This weapon is kind of similar to the FAMAS. You know, it may not be a three burst weapon, but it's a fast firing assault rifle that seriously packs a punch with every single shot. And when used in combination with the pump shotgun, close range fight should almost always be in your favor. So not everything about the Primal AR is great though. Yeah. Like one major downside of running the Primal AR is that there's no first shot accuracy associated to the weapon. Yep, uh, you heard that completely correctly. This weapon relies entirely on Bloom. So if you decide to run this weapon, you won't be able to pick off players' health just from distances unless you get seriously lucky and you're basically just locking yourself into a close range combat. So if you're the sort of player that prefers combat from a distance, you might want to stick with the regular AR variants in the game, like the SCAR, you know, to keep that enhanced first shot accuracy. However, if you want a close range weapon that can easily support the pump shotgun, following up on its high powered one shots with an overwhelming spray of powerful fire then the Primal AR is a perfect weapon to fill that gap. All right, so making the Primal Assault Rifle is exactly the same as the Primal Shotgun. Like you grab yourself a makeshift rifle, grab four bones, and then craft it through your inventory. So the new Spire Jump Boots are a brand new set of stylish boots that you can use to jump high into the air and uh, after three perfect consecutive jumps, even deploy a glider. It allows fast movement across the map, opening up brand new avenues to rotate, but getting them can be a little bit tricky. All right, so to get these Mythic Spire Jump Boots, you're going to need to track down a Spire Guardian and just really just take them out. So landing on one of the smaller spires that are scattered across the map is your best bet to get this done as they're just more likely to be uncontested when compared to the main spire at the center of the map. You know, it doesn't matter if you take on the Guardian of the Bay, Sea Fields, or Mountains, Lake or Wood. You know, each and every one will give you what you need to grab some of the new boots. All right, so make sure you have some good weapons and shields before you take on one of these Guardians though because they have a whole bunch of health and a mythic primal shotgun. Oh, and uh, on top of all of that, they can actually teleport to throw you off. Oof. And so once eliminated, the Guardian will drop a special Guardian Orb. You'll then have to grab that orb and carry it all the way to the Spire, hoping that you don't come across any more along the way. It sounds like a lot of work, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, to be honest, it is, and we don't feel like there's much of a chance for these items to be used in the highest heights of Fortnite Pro Play, too. However, at lower levels or in public matches, it's a little different. These pump boots are the perfect addition to any loadout. So Epic Games really does seem to want to increase the amount of close quarter encounters in Season 6, because not only do less weapons have the first shot accuracy bonus, there are also no snipers in this season of Fortnite. <laughs> and that doesn't mean we've got, you know, nothing to rely on for eliminating players further out. You know, we got bows and arrows, definitely have replaced snipers this time around. So you may be a bit skeptical at first, I get it, that's how it is, but the bow is a surprisingly versatile weapon in Season 6. Not only can you see exactly where your shot is going to land, thanks to the guidelines the bow displays while charging a shot, just like any makeshift weapon, you know, the bow can be upgraded. So the weakest form of the bow is the makeshift bow, but it can easily be upgraded into either the mechanical or primal bow exactly the same way as any other mechanical or primal weapon would be. Except, unlike any of these weapons, the bow can be upgraded again. So the primal bow can be transformed into either the primal flame bow or the primal stink bow, whereas the mechanical bow can be transformed into either the mechanical explosive bow or the mechanical shockwave bow. Each of these has their own uses and benefits, so experiment with them and just find out which one you like the best. Watch your crunch, saw me. Okay, guys, to recap, we've gone over what we think are the, some of the best weapons in the season of the game and you know how to use them to get an advantage over your enemies. But you want to give yourself an extra chance to really gain success. You got to check out some of the rest of our channel where we upload new Fortnite tips and tricks all the time. If you guys like the video, you already know what to do. Sub to the channel and connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. Keep grinding, never quit. I'll see you soon.